Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to cover how to report errors in real time with customized error messages for your serverless backend, which is built on AWS Lambda and uh, API Gateway. If you have a production application, it is very important to have a real time error reporting system because whenever there's a problem in production, you will be immediately notified. So you or your development team can take corrective actions immediately. Because the last thing that we want is our customers come complaining about those errors and bugs, which is really embarrassing. So let's get started. Welcome back to another AWS tutorial. My name is Manoj and in this channel, I discuss practical problems and solutions when you start using AWS in your projects. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. All right, guys. So let's start with the architecture diagram. Now, as you can see in this diagram, this part is our classic serverless architecture. Now imagine this is a nodes taking application API. So we have a REST API that is hosted in Amazon API Gateway. Now this API has RESTful endpoints to create nodes, to get nodes and delete nodes. Now imagine a user want to create a node. So he will use the POST endpoint to create nodes and he will send the node ID and the node text or the title in that particular POST uh, body. So at the API Gateway, the corresponding Lambda functions will be triggered so if it is a creating nodes, then it will execute create node business logics. So in the same way, if users want to get nodes, the corresponding get rest endpoint will be called by the users and then the Lambda functions will be triggered. So what if something went wrong in this Lambda function? Maybe like when it's calling the database, the database call may fail or maybe something else. Now, if this application is a production application where you have paying customers, then when users create a note and if this is not properly created, then that's a problem. So those critical errors must be immediately notified to your developers so they can fix it. So what we are going to do in Lambda function is to log that error message in CloudWatch. Now, Lambda and CloudWatch has a by default integration. So if you are using Node.js, when you type console.log and log the error content or the message, then it will be available in the CloudWatch logs. So we will log the JSON payload in CloudWatch and we will add the attributes like the type of the error, like is it critical or just a warning and also the call stack or maybe a custom error message. And most importantly, the context that was passed down to this Lambda function when this error occurred. So all this information will be logged in CloudWatch as a JSON object. Then we are going to create a CloudWatch metric. So in that particular metric, we can have a filter pattern by looking at the attributes of that JSON payload. We can filter out critical errors, whether they are warnings or minor errors as such. So depending upon these metrics, the alarm will be triggered. So in this alarm, we can say if it is a critical error, as soon as there's a one instance of that error, then trigger this alarm. So this alarm will in turn trigger an SNS topic. Now SNS topic can have different subscription. One of the subscription could be email. But we are not directly sending that information to email because the direct SNS email content will have some information about the SNS topic and when it was uh, uh, triggered and so on. It doesn't contain anything useful information about the log we logged in the CloudWatch. So in order to make it more customized and make it more meaningful, we are going to have a Lambda subscription and in this Lambda function, we are going to create a better meaningful error message by using the error payload that we earlier logged and then send an email using SCS or simple email service. Now, this is the architecture. Let me walk you through the code. Now, before the code, let me show you the final email that we will receive. So in this email, it will show the status of the error. So this is a critical error. And also it will show the application. Then I'll know, okay, this is my notes application. And then the service, 
so it's a node service and the stage whether it's the dev or prod or which so in this case is a dev environment and uh, the message uh, so the message is there's too many connections to the database so this is what's causing the error and also the call stack so in the call stack i can exactly say at which line of the code uh, this error occurred in handler js at line 15 this error occurred and also i will have the payload information so here i have the node id and the node title that didn't actually create due to this uh, too many connection to the database error and also i will see at what time this error occurred so i have all the information that is required to debug this error so if you want to follow along i have the code in my github repo you can clone or download the cp if required now when you open the code you will see two serverless services so one of that is nodes and the other one is login now the node service contain the CRUD operation or the sample CRUD operation for our node API and the login service it contains the code for the lambda function that my SNS topic triggers. This lambda function is responsible to create that customized error message and send it to the users using SCS service. In nodes you can see the serverless YAML file is there and there are two functions so at the moment I create two functions to create nodes and get nodes by ID. The create nodes code can be found in handler.create nodes. In handler function, you can see the code here. So we will extract the node ID and the node title from the post body or the request body, and then we can execute the business logic. So we are executing the business logic in a try catch block. So in the try block, so this could be any business logic, including calling the database and creating the node in the database. So now I am simulating an error while executing that business logic. So I'm throwing a new error object. And as the message, I'm passing too many connections to the database. So then this error get passed down to the catch block. So now that I'm certain that something went wrong, so I need to log it. So I'm using this log function which I have required from up here. So I'm requiring this logger file inside my lib folder. So I can go to my lib folder and open this file up. So in this file, I'm exporting this function called log. So this function takes the payload and this is a JSON object. And into this JSON object, I am appending some additional information. So that includes the application name, application stage and the service name and the rest of the payload attributes that is being passed. Now these three attributes, I'm taking it from environment variables. Now in my serverless.yaml file, you can see I'm passing down these environment variables, app name, app stage, and service name here. So I can access them using process.env variable. So the final payload with this additional information is the one that I'm going to log. So I'm just using console log. I stringify the payload and log it. So as soon as I log it, this get logged in AWS CloudWatch. So now let's go to AWS CloudWatch. So I'm in my AWS console. I will first search for AWS Lambda. So I can search the function name here. Function name can easily be taken from my serverless.yaml file. Now this is the function name create nodes. Now, before doing so, you need to deploy this service using SLS deploy. It is going to deploy an API gateway as well. Can you see under events, there's a HTTP event and we have an endpoint path nodes and that is a post method. So you can take a terminal and do SLS deploy. I have already deployed it. I'll show you the information by typing SLS info. So as you can see, this is the post endpoint. Now I can use any HTTP client and create a post using this endpoint. Now this is Postman. So I have pasted this HTTP endpoint here and I've selected post and in the body, I'm creating a new post with the ID of 100 and the node title of Tuesday plan and click send. Now I get a 500 internal error. This is expected because we threw an error there. So let's see this in CloudWatch. In order to see the CloudWatch logs, I'm going to copy the function name here, create nodes, and then come here and paste it and hit enter. So it's going to show me the name, nodes dev creates nodes. 
open it up and then I'll go to monitoring section then on to your right side click view logs in CloudWatch click the latest log stream this one and then I will see the payload I logged it using the lambda function app name app stage service name this came from the environment variable and then the type critical the message and also the call stack and also the payload now I'm going to create a metric filter out of this so I'll click on log groups again notes dev create notes so this is the group which we early access I will click here and I'm going to click create a metric filter then I can add a filter pattern so as you have seen we are logging a JSON object now in CloudWatch filter patterns we can access attributes like this type using the filter pattern syntax now here's an example I open two brackets then dollar period the type the attribute name which is type then it is equal to critical so if I test this pattern you can see I get three matches because earlier I tried to create three more nodes so do you see now I can further say I also want to filter it by the application stage so I will type app stage has to equal to prod now I don't have any prod stage logs here so this test pattern will show me zero but if I say dev which I already have and then test this pattern then I will get the same three matches so likewise you can create advanced filter patterns I will remove the second part and then I'll click assign metric okay, you can give it a name let's say notes errors then you can click show advanced metric settings make sure to add a value to metric value so I have set one so that means if there's a match the count is one and then click create filter so I already have a filter created so I'll cancel this out so this is the metric filter I open it then you can click create alarm so we are creating an alarm out of this metric filter now since this metric filter filter out critical errors I need this alarm to be triggered as soon as there's a one critical error I don't want to wait for multiple critical errors to trigger this alarm so what I'm going to do here is I'm selecting the statistics as sum so I'm checking it in every let's say 30 seconds so I'm checking the value of the metric if it is greater than zero so that means when I get a one error this alarm will be triggered then I'll click next and then this alarm is going to trigger an SNS topic now let me show where are we in the diagram so we are here so we have an alarm created so we are selecting an SNS topic so this topic has a lambda subscription so that lambda function will form a customized error message and send it using SCS so you can either create a new topic if you don't already have a topic in this case I have a topic so I will click select existing topic and I will pick the topic so mine is production errors and then I'll click next then I can give a alarm name production critical error also and click next and click create I have already created so I'll cancel this out so this is my alarm now in the same time I can create another metric filter and this time without finding critical errors I can find warnings and create a metric filter then I can create an alarm and this alarm is not going to go off when the metric count is 1 maybe because this is a warning I will wait for 3 more warnings and if I get more warning than 3 then I will trigger an alarm so I can configure alarms as I want ok now let me go to the SNS topic I pointed this so I go to topics this is the topic production errors so this production error topic has a lambda function as a subscription now let me show you how to do that so in my code if you go to login and open the serverless.yml file you will find the function and this function called dispatch error now this is the lambda function that subscribe to that SNS topic so as you can see in the event section I have a SNS event and here I'm passing the ARN of my SNS topic you can find the ARN here so this is the ARN of my SNS topic 
and now let's go into the code that is in handlerjs here so this is the function code first i pass the sns message and in this message it contains the cloudwatch metric name and the namespace now using these two parameters i can call describe metric filter function in cloudwatch using aws sdk you can see up here i am requiring aws sdk here then then i am creating an instance of cloudwatch logs so in that instance i am calling describe filters by passing down these parameters and it's going to return me more data about this particular metric so i am calling another function so this function is basically get the actual logs from cloudwatch during that time period and then send an email using scs so this is that function so i get the timestamp so with that timestamp i can query exactly the logs during that timestamp and then i'm calling another method called filter log events in cloudwatch by passing down these parameters and as the data i get the payload that we logged earlier so i'm calling another function called generate email content to make it more customized email so if i open this up so this data is passed then i'll do a bit of a html generation so i pass the application name from the payload service stage message and callback and also the payload so those are the data that you saw in the email i showed you earlier and then i prepare a email content that is suitable for scs so to whom i am sending this email you can add many email addresses maybe that this is the email addresses of your dev team then the content and you have to whitelist an email in scs the sender's email and finally this email content is returned from this function and then we use scs send email api call to send this email so we required scs up here as well now this lambda function uses cloudwatch and scs so make sure this lambda function has permission to call these services so in order to do that in serverless.yaml file i am referring a role that provide this permission so you can create iam role in aws and refer the arn here let me quickly show you that as well i go to iam roles and search for this so this is the role if i open this up you can see i have given this cloudwatch full access and amazon scs full access then you need to deploy this logging function as well you can use sls deploy here once both these functions are deployed then when there's a critical error you will receive an email just like the one i showed you something like this and if you log a warning message if you get more than 3 warning as we have configured or any count you configured it will send another email with the status warning now one quick thing before i wind up this logger js function we can extract this to a lambda layer then if you have more services normally in production application we have more services then you can refer the same layer to do the logging part so you don't have to replicate this code yet you will be able to require it and then use it in your services so that's about it So if you enjoy this video make sure you check out my other videos and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this